All right, three, two, one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, welcome back to the channel. We had just finished watching Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Core 3, Episode 5. And backup is on the way. Yeah, hey, man, we say it all the time. What a time to be an anime fan. But in this case, what a time to be a subscriber of this channel. Also, what a time to be a member of the Patreon. Head over to the Patreon so you can watch the full reaction to the Thousand Year Blood War episode. But like he said, backup is on the way. And it's not just any backup. It's a real fucking squad pulling up this time. Like, this is the gift back squad. Now, I'm not going to lie. I almost wanted to say they're pulling up with too much power. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, this is like too much. Like, because we have a whole ass army, right? All the strong captains, and now we have the Quincy's, the stern Raiders that turned on your watch for leaving them behind, which is interesting. Makes sense. I don't know if I would have trusted them, but hey, it seems they're genuine, so fuck it. More the more the merrier. But it really makes me wonder when they pull up with all this shit, and I'm assuming Eisen's coming too. He's too good of a character to leave on the bench. That's a lot of heads, and your watch yeah. has what five people with him so are, are yeah. they just gonna jump the living shit out of everybody or are the stern Raiders gonna turn on us like even if the stern Raiders turn on us there's only like four of them it, like, exactly i'm wondering if eisen's or your watch is gonna spawn new stern Raiders. like i would assume not but at the same time i mean look who's pulling up there's realistically five niggas who can probably bang like Biakia, Sunsui, Kenpachi. I like all of their odds against uh, any of this, the five Stern Raiders that are already up there. That leaves like two left. And when you look at everyone left, like, I mean, come on. Like they're not really doing shit. shit. Like, that's not going to go their way. Then you want to talk about Grimjow just pulled up. Like, I'm not going to lie. We almost have too much heads for this like it really makes me wonder how this is about to go now see my thing is when you talk about your watch spawning people i think he could like i would not be surprised if that's what he did once he sees this army after him but also it really makes me wonder because your watch is so strong at this point like especially if he finishes absorbing the soul king he's gonna be damn near invincible so i'm wondering like I want Ichigo to get that ones, but when they ran the ones before, he got no damn near no diffed, and he just absorbed the Soul King. So it's like, now what? You're probably going to have to jump that nigga, and at that point, how many people will, will it take? Yeah, see, I'm a little blown because we never got to actually see a true one when they got to ran the ones. Like... Ichigo started, he pulled up, he never even went Bankai, he got manipulated into cutting the Soul King in half, and that was the end of it. Like, we never actually got to see, even if we wanted to take away the conclusion that your watch is stronger, we never got to actually see by how much. There's a chance that, because Ichigo's not getting any stronger from now until the end of the Thousand Year Blood War. So, there's a chance, for the most part, for the most part. So... There's a chance that he's relatively in the same ballpark as your watch right now to actually fight that nigga once. But like you said, your watch just got a power up before we got to see that one. So there's a chance now that a 1v1 is too far beyond, which kind of sucks, but it's looking like that's the case. Hell yeah. And Aizen getting involved. I'm stuck on uh, Shunsui's words to him. Like, if you're not in peak condition yet, then stay here for a minute until the gate is ready. So, Aizen's coming. I'm assuming he's going to get set free when they're up there. So, going back to the original point of there being too many niggas, it's like... I feel like someone has to switch sides. Like, because I don't, I don't know how this is even a fight anymore with this many people. We're going to have to see. I don't know if I just see eyes in the minute he gets up there saying jokes on y'all niggas. It's up now. If he does, then they're in trouble because it would realistically take everyone there to subdue him. 
Like that would kind of like take away the your watch get back squad. Yeah, I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. But still, that's still too much smoke. Like, who's your watch? Who's Eisen gonna fight unless Eisen's going straight for your watch? Yeah, like there's a lot to be desired, but your watch, he sees everything, so he gotta have a plan. Like, especially with all of those, those were literally eyeballs that were down invading the Soul Society. So it's like, he knows what's up. So, mm -hmm. unless he's just that confident that no matter how many people we bring, it doesn't matter, he's got to have something up his sleeve. We're going to have to say, like, I highly doubt it's going to be just those six versus this army. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like that just wouldn't make sense. But we're going to have to say... Hell but yeah. all in all, how would you rate this episode? I'm going to give this episode. I'm going to give it a 9.6. This episode, it was really just kind of story progression. Um, getting to see the real get back squad, let alone seeing all those characters gather. We get to see the, uh, the visitors pull up and they're about to join the fight. Even seeing Baz B snake his own mans and say, yeah, we're going to go kill your watch. You're not, but the more the merrier, come on. Aizen yeah. getting back into the field, just, he can't even move right now, but his spiritual pressure alone got rid of that whole eyeball invasion. Like, let alone the fact that we get confirmation that that chair doesn't, restrict like it it contains your spiritual pressure but it doesn't like lessen it so eisen's gotten stronger and you said it during this episode he basically pulled a frieza when frieza was in hell and came back gold like that's basically what eisen just did and he was already a powerhouse so seeing that just his spiritual pressure do this much was lit kenny being back up that was lit and of course seeing rim Jow at the end so at the end of the day, not too, too much happened, but I like the story progression, so I'm going to go 9.6. Right there with you. The story progression was amazing, which is why I'd give it a 9.7. Like, I think everything about this episode was pretty chill and amazing. Just watching all the Soul Reapers gathered was kind of special. Like, especially when Kenpachi showed up on screen. I knew his ass was somewhere. It's like, there's no way he was going to be sidelined, but... Aizen definitely stole the episode when you want to talk about when he was on screen slaughtering the eyes with his spirit pressure. Like, I'm really curious on how that whole ordeal works, let alone the fact that he actually did get stronger while strapped away is kind of amazing. But just in general, this episode was pretty chill. It was a story progressing episode, so I will give it a 9.7. Hell yeah, but hey man. If you enjoyed this episode as much as we did, make sure you hit that like button, hit the big red subscribe button if you haven't already, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss episode 6 or any of our other special videos. We drop straight bangers on this channel, so make sure you guys tap in with us. With that being said, make sure you guys click our description. There will be three links waiting for you. The first one will take you to all of our socials, Sons of Tokyo on every platform. The second one will take you to our Discord you feel come me? on in. Come on in. You know what I'm saying? Join that Discord. Come vibe out with us. Talk about anything anime, not anime, sports, movies. It don't matter. And last but certainly not least, the link to our Patreon will be in the description. Make sure you guys join that. You're going to become a member for free and watch the full length reaction to Core 3, Episode 5, as well as everything else we put on the channel and some Patreon exclusives. So make sure you guys check that out. But uh, yeah, man, with that being said, SOT out.